All right, um, so just recording a quick video here and hopefully it's framed up well. Uh, um, so today I am going out uh, down to Hendersonville area, um, chilling in the car right now um, because I am fairly early to, to the place that we were supposed to be going. Uh, but I'm helping Justin Rhodes again today with another family. Um, they are down in the, the Hendersonville area. And we're gonna help out on their farm. Um, and I believe we're building some shade structures if I remember correctly, um, but it's gonna be a good day. Uh, Okay, so today I am at Fruitland Farmstead um, down here in the Hendersonville area of North Carolina. Uh, this place is actually super cool. What they're doing is they run a homestead summer uh, camp for children ages three to eight years old. And they are currently clearing out some silvo pasture area so the kids can play in the forest. Um, and then they also are, uh, we're surprising them with some picnic tables for them and for the kids. Um, last year or this year they had double the signups that they had last year um, and then their goal is just to keep growing and expanding what they do is they come and they teach kids homestead farming skills that they didn't have the opportunity to learn when they were kids right so they're passing this knowledge down to the next generation and getting kids inspired about farming about where their food comes from all right check out the setup that they have um in the Justin Rose uh, chick chop that they have set back here. Uh, and then they also have premier one fencing. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to see because I'm not happy that I'm sitting over here uh, next to their chicken. And they're moving this. Uh, it not look like every day because it is a pretty, pretty large setup. Um, but they'll move this, this fencing to get their chickens on new pasture laying eggs. And uh, it's, I think it's a fantastic setup that they've got going on. over here and I just finished doing these um, these kids picnic tables that you saw in that time lapse um, with Justine. So we've just finished four tables in record speed because we actually had the proper tools that we needed. So instead of trying to tighten everything down by hand using an Allen wrench, we were able to use an impact driver um, and get these put in, <laughs> in place. Um, but yeah, they look a lot nicer and uh, this is the finished product. This is something that I thought was really interesting looking through this flower garden bed that they have set up here. Um, you can see right here out of the corner of my eye. Uh, this right here is a, a weather station. And it's something that a lot of people think about when it comes to their garden or their homestead is being able to get the weather feedback directly for your location, right? So sometimes those weather stations and the weather apps are pulling from maybe the nearest airport um, or maybe up in town, somewhere like that. And those temperatures can vary depending on if you're up on the mountaintop or down in a holler. Um, so I think it's really cool that they have the weather station right here in their garden. Okay, so after watching back the footage I just edited for the Fruitland Farmstand video, I realized I never recorded um, uh, an, an entity, a closure to it. And I just wanted to thank Justin and um, for allowing me to come out and help out with Fruitland Farmstead and also for the shout out on his video. Um, thank you all of my new subscribers who have come over from that video. It has been extremely um, humbling and also inspiring for me for you guys to want to follow my, my journey. Um, I, it, it's invigorating to see to, to have that success and um, whether it is earned or not, I'm hoping I, I can show you that this is gonna be earned success. Um, thank you to the Fruitland Farmstead for letting 
us come out and help out as well. And uh, if you are not uh, subscribed to my content yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, like and follow for more beginner homesteading content from a full-time employee.